Hello and welcome back. My name is Damien and we're in <clears throat> our survival let's play. Uh, to be honest with you, it's been about a week since I've actually been in this game. Uh, I have been on our average Joe server, our multiplayer server. We've got a lot of stuff going on over there. Uh, Kite's done a lot of stuff and I will cover that in the video when it's ready. But right now I wanted to get into <clears throat> our let's play. Now as everyone knows by the previous video we found jungle uh, we looked for a while and we finally found it uh, I'm in creative mode right now so I can fly around and show you stuff and talk about what I'm gonna do I'm not really gonna do anything much in this video but talk about what I have in mind and if you have any suggestions throw them in the comments um, <clears throat> All right, so first off, let's get started. We have uh, animals. Uh, we got horses, pigs, cows. Uh, I think there were some sheep. I don't. <clears throat> I don't remember. But we do have. We have. We have horses. We have cows, and we have pigs. So the, one of the first things that I need to do is get farms going. Um, if we're not surviving, if we don't have food, if we don't have stuff that we need, then, you know, this is going to be a very short, short let's play. Uh, the second thing, I just made a base camp here. Um, I haven't started building anything yet. I cleared out all the undergrowth here and over here on this island. Um, well, peninsula, little one, small thing. But I cleared out all the undergrowth, uh, and what I have in mind is to basically do an interconnecting house, uh, or series of houses, something like that, that connects to a bunch of different trees with bridges going across, um, things like that. That's kind of what I have in mind. I've never built in a jungle biome. This will be the first time. Uh, I'm not an excellent builder. I can build, and I'm getting better and better. Uh, I'm getting a lot of practice on the um, on our other server, but by no means am I a builder. So this this is going to be a learning experience for me, <clears throat> and it should be fun. I think. <laughs> uh, but I've, I've been researching different farms, uh, different things we're going to need. Which I already knew. I already knew that I was going to need to have food, and I was going to need to have animals and stuff like that. But in this one, when I'm by myself, you know, I've still I've got to go to the Nether. I've got to go to the End. I've got to beat the Dragon. I got to get Shulker boxes. You know, I got to do End raids, things like that, all by myself. There's nobody here to help me. So I have to plan more carefully. Um, I've looked at iron farms, I've looked at wood farms, I've looked at automatic um, steak and leather farms, uh, just things like that. And I'm going to invest some time and learn learn as well as I can how to build those. And we will be building a lot of farms because I'm going to need stuff to, to actually get through. Right now, we've got melons. I can eat that. That's food. We've got some animals. I can get them pinned up and breed them. Uh, and I can start getting food that way. So that's not going to be a huge problem. We have plenty of wood, jungle, and then the birch and stuff like that. Um, what else? Uh, the reason I'm in creative, I don't have a camera account. So I have to go in creative so I can actually show you guys around. I don't do anything in the game in creative but that, though. Uh, I found a cave down here. I was mining. I was actually going to mine and, uh, you know, get some iron and try to find some stuff. But this turned into this huge cave. There, it, I mean, this thing is freaking huge. Uh, so I lit it up as best I could uh, for now. And I will definitely... I'll definitely be in there doing more mining and uh, trying to clear that cave out because... I'm going to tell you, if I try to stay awake at night, there are so many mobs here. So many bad, evil, little exploding mobs. Um, I had, I think the the last night I played, um, I was going to try to get some more arrows from skeletons. Uh, and I stayed awake, and it was ridiculous. I mean, completely ridiculous. There were like, I mean... 
just spawning all night and it was like 20 or 30 zombies that would come through um at least 10 creepers a few skeletons some endermen but it was you know it was nothing that i mean i could kill them and get their stuff but it was nothing that i needed because i wanted arrows i needed arrows uh, and that's what got me to thinking about, like, maybe building a mob farm. Um, there should be some simple ones. Uh, I believe they work in 113 uh, that just drop the mobs out, and then uh, you can use a, maybe a hopper system. And uh, I think I think one of them is a non-experienced one. It just drops the mobs out while you're working around, and they die when they hit the ground, and their stuff goes into a chest for you. Um, <clears throat> that's one I was thinking about because a lot of the skeletons do spawn here, but mostly it's down in the cave. And if I can get that all lit up and build a mob farm, it doesn't matter about XP. I I'll get XP and I'll level up and I'll be able to enchant and stuff like that. What I'm worried about right now is getting materials that I need. Uh, bone meal, arrows, you know, the occasional better bow than I have, things like that. The, the the second or third or for whatever number I'm on now thing that I want to concentrate on is finding a village maybe find one that's closer um, I have the coordinates for the camp here and I know there's no villages in the jungle but there we're, I mean we're on the edge of the jungle there are plenty of places that there could be a village <clears throat> and I was thinking of finding that village and then I can set up trade because in this single player game for me there's only one currency and that's emeralds um, and by that I mean that I can use to buy stuff off of villagers it's emeralds so what I need to do is increase my emerald income profoundly <laughs> I want to get a lot of emeralds so I need extreme hillsides or extreme hills biomes not hillsides duh extreme hills biomes so I can farm and see if I can mine up emeralds that way I need to get good trades going with villagers so I can get emeralds from them and then I can buy the books that I need I can buy the the you know ender pearls the other things that I'm going to need uh, that I that I could get somewhere else, but it would be easier to get it from villagers. So that's that's another thing on my mind. So I'm gonna uh, I fished up a saddle. Uh, unfortunately, to get a lead, I need to have slime balls, and I have not seen one slime. I have not seen one slime at all, uh, and that's kind of strange to me. But you know, it is what it is. So that's kind of what's on my mind. I wanted to touch base with everybody. I haven't had a, a lot of chance to be working here on this server, on this game, because our multiplayer server is taking off. We've got more people on it, and there's a lot of work going into it. But I have, um, I mean, this, I'm invested in this Let's Play also, and I'm going to put a lot of content out on it. But I wanted to just cover what I'm, I'm doing so far. And as soon as I find a name tag... This is Patches. I actually, uh, my roommate has a severe macaw named Patches, and he's been in the family for 15, 16 years. And uh, so I'm going to name him Patches. This is going to be my end game Patches. And uh, he's he was flying up on my shoulder constantly, and I finally remembered that I could just right click and he would sit. And he sits by my bed now, and he just hangs out here. Um, <laughs> We've got some supplies. I've done some mining. Uh, this is what I brought with us. And this is some of the stuff that I've gotten off of killing the mobs and such. But uh, I haven't forgotten these either. We do need to find the stronghold. Um, but that is not going to be a huge priority. The reason that I really, really want to do it, though, is because I need storage that I can take with me so that means shulker boxes so that means getting into the end killing the dragon and then going in raiding and getting what I can get that's not going to happen tomorrow but um, I am going to work on that slowly but first we're going to start here we're going to get something other than a hut I don't even know if you'd call it a hut but anyway it works um, and
end, we're going to um, we're going to start building here. We're going to start seeing what we can do. Uh, we spent a while, a good ten episodes, looking for this place, and we finally found it. Is that cocoa beans? I need to I need to do something with that too. I found out there's a lot of things you can do with cocoa beans. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. Um, I also know in jungle biomes there are jungle temples. I would love to run across one of those. But um, anyway, uh, like I said, this is not going to be this was not going to be a really long video. I just wanted to touch base with everybody and uh, let you know what was on my mind. If you have any advice on it, uh, I am more than willing to listen. I don't mind advice at all. Constructive criticism is good with me. If you, you know, if somebody's going to be an asshole, though, you can carry that on out of here. Because I don't need that. Nobody does. Nobody wants to hear that. Um, but just as far as as constructive criticism, advice, things of that nature, I'm all for it. Because, like I said, I'm I'm not new to Minecraft necessarily. I've been playing it off and on for years, but I am new to actually playing Minecraft, making videos of it, investing a lot of time into it. And uh, so, you know, everybody that's watched any of my videos on Minecraft knows my redstone sucks. I'm working hard to improve my redstone capabilities uh, and my building. And by the way, this is another this is another exit out of that cave. And as you can see, there's a creeper right there. And I haven't lit this one up yet. And there's some there's a zombie right there. So this this thing is full of bad guys. Uh, and uh, you come out right here. So <clears throat> it's a huge cave under there. I'm gonna have to light it all up. I'm gonna have to light up out here. If I do build a mob spawner, it's probably gonna be up in the air. I've seen a bunch of them, and they were all up in the air. So that's probably what I'm gonna have to do with that. But I want to get. Uh, next video is probably going to have where I've got animals boxed in and I'm breeding animals and uh, we will see where we can go from there. Uh, I'm going to try to get some building started. I'm going to get a lot of wood up. Um, I cleaned up over where the lava fire was. I cleaned all that out and I had enough uh, saplings that I was able to plant two jungle trees here which I will probably use for wood. I'll probably use these two because these two weren't this, this is not part of the jungle biome really here. But, I mean, they had this undergrowth there. So I'll probably use these two for wood to get started. Uh, although I will have to cut some of these trees down and use them. And I'm looking at tutorials on how to do the bridges right and how to make everything look good. Uh, but it should be a lot of fun. I'm, I want to thank everyone that's came with us on this journey so far. It was a long 10 episodes to get here. And now we get to play the game because now we settle down and we start playing. Uh, so thank you very much. I appreciate everyone that came along, everyone that's commented, followed, subscribed. I stuttered over that word because it's so hard to get everything done. But um, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, it helps us out immensely. Please like the videos, share them. Uh, all that helps the channel grow, and that's what we, we really want the channel to grow so we can just get lost in the Minecraft world and, and not have to worry about a lot of other junk. Um, so once again, thank you all very much, and I will see you in the next video.